Hey, welcome to DNA Drives. My name is Garrett, and today I'll be showing you how to remove a front bumper on a 2015 Cadillac ATS. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to say I'm no Cadillac expert by any means, so hopefully all the information that you're about to gain from this video is correct, and if it's not, feel free to comment down below on what I made a mistake on. I'd be very curious to know. This video should apply to model year 2013 to 2019 models for the ATS-V, the ATS two-door coupe, and along with the normal ATS models. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, consider subscribing if you're new around here, and thanks for checking us out. Here's the video. The first thing you wanna do is pop the hood and locate the radiator cover in your engine bay. It's the big black plastic piece that spans from one side to the other that connects to the grill and each side near the headlights. There will be eight body clips. Use a body trim removal tool to remove the body clips, or if you don't have that tool, you could also use a fork, a butter knife, or try a flathead screwdriver. If you do happen to break the clips, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. You can go to AutoZone or Walmart and pick up a pack of body clips for around five bucks. And the way to tell how to know you pick up the right kind of body clips for your car is on the packaging it'll say for GM vehicles. After you get the body clips out, remove the radiator cover. You will then uncover eight 10 millimeter bolts. Remove the bolts and let the front of the bumper free. Next, work your way to either side of the car. There will either be three body clips or three T15 Torx bolts. After you remove the three bolts or clips, up in the fender of the wheel well, there will be one T15 Torx bolt that is pointing up towards the sky. That holds the bumper into the fender. Remove that and that side of the bumper should be free and repeat that to the other side. Work your way to the bottom of the bumper. There will be eight seven, milli seven millimeter bolts and two Torx or Starbit bolts. I'm not sure, I forget which one it is, but it's either Torx or Starbit. If it's a Torx, it'll be a T15 sized bolt. Once you remove those bolts, you're able to set the bumper free. With gentle, firm pressure and being cautious at the same time, body gently remove the bumper from the retaining clips on each side and the bumper should fall forward off of the vehicle. Don't forget to unclip your fog lights that are connected on each side. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If I missed anything, comment down below. I'd be very interested to hear and what I missed. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. See you in the next one. Take care. started when a duck met another duck and they met another duck and they became the duck trio the end